perpendicular to chord property, practice number three. Find the length of chord XZ. Chord XZ is located here. XZ is a perpendicular bisector to line OY. So OY is perpendicular to XZ. And perpendicular means they intersect at a 90 degree angle. So this would also be a 90 degree angle. Triangle YOX is a right angle triangle. And if we know two sides on a right angle triangle, we can solve for the unknown side. So use Pythagorean theorem to solve for the unknown side. So a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Our c will be the line opposite of the right angle. That will be 9. Our unknown angle we'll call a. And since we already have a variable there, E, we'll just use E instead. And the 5 will be our B. So E squared plus 5 squared is equal to 9 squared. E squared plus 25 is equal to 81. To remove the 25 from this side, we'll subtract 25. Therefore, we have to subtract 25 from the other side as well. The plus 25 and minus 25 will cancel, leaving us with e squared. And 81 minus 25 gives us 56. To remove the squared from e squared, we'll take the square root of e squared. And if we take the square root of e squared, we have to take the square root of 56 as well. The squared and square root will cancel, leaving us with e and the square root of 56 will be 7.48. If OY is perpendicular to XZ, then XY, which is located here, is equal to yz, which is located here. And if this is 7.48, that would make this line 7.48 as well. So xz is equal to xy plus yz. xz is equal to 7.48 plus 7.48. So xz is equal to 14.96.